in KCRE 3 Sports tonight, Sacramento State football just won their game at home against the Richmond Spiders. The Hornets have had an undefeated season so far, and they hope to keep that momentum going, and they sure did. KCRE 3's Michelle Dapper has been live at the game in the rain for us. Dap, this W is a big deal tonight. Ah, huge, Brittany, huge, Brittany. Of course, it wasn't easy, but the, of course, Hornets do get the job done. They battled the Spiders and the Rain to secure their first playoff win ever in the Division I era and first overall since 1988. The Sacramento State Hornets meeting up with the Richmond Spiders in the second round of the FCS playoffs. Sac State's opening drive, Asher O'Hara pitches it to Marshall Martin for the five-yard touchdown, their first ever lead in the playoffs. 11 plays, 54 yards, and a 7-0 lead. They're also 24-0 under Troy Taylor when scoring first. Sac State down 14-7, and the deficit increases. Reese Yudinski to a wide-open Leroy Henley, and it's in for an easy 24-yard touchdown. Seven plays, 51 yards, and a 21-7 lead. Their largest deficit of the season. 19 seconds left before the half. Jake Dunaway under center, hands it off to Marcus Fulcher, gets in by the defense for the one-yard score. Sac State down 21-17 at the break. The adjustments were made to start the second half as Elijah Tau Tolliver takes the kickoff 95 yards third kickoff for a touchdown this season for Sacramento State and they retake the lead 24-21. Tied at 31 now in the fourth, Asher O'Hara goes deep 51 yards to Pierre Williams, their first 400-yard passing game this season and the Hornets take the lead 38-31. Final minute in regulation, Yudinski passes downfield and Cameron Broussard comes down with the game ceiling interception. The Hornets get their first playoff win of the Vision 1 era and first overall since 1980. 38-31. When you get a chance to, to, to win it and win a playoff game and move the guys forward and see how happy the guys are, it's a big deal. So I'm thankful for Coach Taylor and the coaching staff to come and help us. We have the right pieces, but we just need that extra little piece to uh, get us further. The stretch there in the second half where we were we were really struggling with the elements. Um, we had a ton of drops really could have, could have cost us the game, um, but we ended up rallying and, and finding a way to, to make it happen. But it was, a, it was a huge impact on the game. I love the rain. I've played in a lot of rain games in my life. So going into it, it felt like we had an advantage. And they did a really good job, as you saw in the first half, just passing and whatnot. But um, it's a long game, and we just stayed stayed with it and trusted everybody. And eventually, we, we won, obviously. And you can still see the rain is coming down pretty hard here at Hornet Stadium. So up next for Sacramento State, a date with Incarnate Word, who, by the way, whose quarterback is just electric. He ranks second in the FCS in touchdowns and passing yards. So the Hornets will have their hands full next week. As for timing on that, sources tell me it's probably a Saturday game again at 2 p.m. Not official just yet, but make, make sure you have no plans on Saturday, Brittany. <laughs> All right, Dapple, on a Saturday, I'll be here with you. So we will be doing it then. Same. <laughs> I'll be here. All right, Dap, get back inside, get dry. We'll see you coming up at 10 and 11.